everyone welcome back to my channel it's fun i don't know why i'm doing this lately on my intros i'm like so oh, i just finished nana like a week or two ago and ah, oh my gosh i get the hype i it was so good if you haven't watched it definitely watch nana it is so good today i'm gonna be doing a couple different nana inspired hairstyles i hope you enjoy This first hairstyle I think is one of the most popular ones I see. It's this cute little side ponytail with these little roses to a renaissance fair and dressed up as a triad. So I have these little like hair clips and I just basically hot glued these fake flower orchids to them. So I'm gonna be using these instead of the flower rose clips that she has. But if you need like clips or something, I got both of these from like the dollar store. So it's really easy to make like little hair clips for this look. So obviously I do have bangs and Nana does not, so my looks are gonna be a little bit different than hers, but she usually does keep a lot of face framing little bits in there. So depending on what type of face framing bangs or how your hair is in the front, it might be a little bit different for everyone. But for me, I'm just going to start off by, <laughs> perfect, just parting my hair like this so that I have like these lovely little chunky framing bangs. I'm also going to grab a little baby hair tie, one of these tiny plastic ones, and I'm going to bring my hair over to the side and do a very cute little side pony. So now that I have the side pony where I want it to be, I'm going to just tie my hair off If you have short hair, this look might be done for you, but since I have longer hair and her kind of little ponytail is on the shorter side, I'm actually going to flip my hair around it, kind of like this, and I'm going to do that one more time just because my hair is extra long. I'm going to pin it into place. So cute! So while my little hair curler heats up, I'm going to place these little flower clips how I like them. I want to, I'm also going to, since my hair bobby pin doesn't like cover all of this, I'm going to make sure that I clip some of my hair so that it stays in place all day. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> it's more tropical than I expected, but I guess orchids are kind of tropical. So cute. I'm going to just kind of curl it along. I think having an actual curling iron would be better, but I like this because I feel like it gives um, subtle curl. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> oh, this is the cutest in the little whole wide world. So this is the first look. It's kind of Gyaru a little bit. I guess maybe because it looks so tropical. Maybe I should try Gyaru makeup with this hairstyle next time. So this was super easy and quick. So now I'm going to do Hachi's signature little space buns. For this, I'm going to start off with my little curling iron. I'm just going to go through and curl my hair. So, of course, the next step, I'm going to part my little front hair from my back hair. And I'm also going to split my hair down the middle in the back. Now, I don't care too much about parting my hair. I've never really cared about making it even. You struggle parting your hair down the middle like I always do. Like, I will hold up a mirror against another mirror behind me and check my work. So, next I'm going to pull my hair up till it's kind of about the middle of my head and I'm going to tie this off into a little ponytail. Ta-da! And I'm gonna do the same for the other side. Badly, I parted this. I can't see, you guys are gonna have to tell me how horrible it is, but it feels really bad. Is it really bad? <laughs> also, this like little 
ponytail moment. I feel like I should do this more often. This is really cute. I'm going to braid these. I don't know how to braid. You split it into three parts and you, I like to cross them. So you cross one over the other and then one over the other back. And I'm only going to take it to about here. And I'm going to tie this off as well. Now that I have these two done, I'm going to wrap them into a bun around each other. And go like this. And so now I'm going to take my bobby pin and pin it into place. Super cute. This looks like something um, Lucy from Fairy Tale would actually wear. That was like one of my first animes growing up. So I always think about what cute hairstyles and little outfits she wore. She was like my favorite character growing up. But this is so cute. It's like these cutest little buns. Oh my gosh. But yeah, let me fidget with this more. I think I would like actually a fourth bobby pin. I only have three on me. So this is the best we're gonna get. It's so cute. This is, I think this is the cutest one I've done so far. Ignore how bad the parting is, is in the back. So cute. next look I think is from when she was working at that publication company super cute I'm not sure if this was just um, her pulling her hair back to do her lashes or if this was like her look but we're going to try it because I have these bangs and I think it'd be fun to pull them back so first things first is I'm going to get the little my bangs <laughs> I'm gonna scoop up my bangs you flip them back and she has a little like clippy. Uh oh, this might be hard. I have so many, uh oh. <laughs> I have such short bangs, this might be a little difficult. To take a bobby pin first, and I'm going to put my hair back. <laughs> this looks really dorky with my bangs. I think this would look cuter if you didn't have bangs like me, but to make it even cuter, Oh no! To put this little bow right here so that it's like kind of holding down all my spikes. This isn't the most effective when you have bangs, but I still think it's really cute. And then I do have layers in the front, so I'm going to curl those. And I'm going to be curling them in. Here's the final look. It's a little awkward looking. If you, if I had the hair to kind of make it a little bit looser on the top, I think it would look a lot cuter, especially because my hair is so long and this is so short, but I'm not totally against this. I kind of look like a little baby with like three hairs on my head. This is so silly looking. <laughs> Next Hachi hairstyle is one of my favorites. I think this is one of her most classic looks on Pinterest and everywhere that I see. And it is when she's working in that 70 themed retro furniture store. I'm going to do the same thing as before. Separate my little front bangs from the rest of my hair. And then I'm going to be using a claw clip for this. I'll do this from behind so you can see. So, I'm going to kind of take my hair and I'm going to kind of go like this and wrap it around itself and then take this little end at the very end and clip it in. Ah! <laughs> I totally just dropped that. Done if you have bobby pins or like little hair clips, but I never got a chance to use this claw clip, so I thought it would be a good excuse to use it. Then you're just going to kind of fold it on top of your head a little bit, little bun, and I'm just going to loosen it a little bit. 
Now here's my Hachi hairstyle. I just think this one is so cute with the claw clip because I love wearing claw clips but I always struggle to like find a way that I like looking in them. So this is gonna be my last Nanai hairstyle and it's a really simple yet cute one. It is not one of the most popular ones ever but I think it is still really cute and looks good on me. So first things first, I'm going to of course part the front of my hair from the back of my hair and unlike last time where I pull all of my hair back, we're doing a half up. So I like to go from kind of the back of my ear and go up a little bit and do the same to the other side. So, now that I've done that, I'm actually gonna take um, a thicker hair tie, and with this thicker hair tie, I'm going to, kind of a little up, not right on my scalp, I'm going to tie my hair like this, and make sure that it's a bit loose. I'm going to kind of create a separation here, so it's a little hole, and I'm going to flick, my hair under and through. Now this creates a little bit more volume. And see, it's super cute now that it has a bit more volume to it. How does that look? I think that's pretty cute. And this is actually, I really like this. This is one of my favorite things to do for my hair. I love doing half up, half downs. So yeah. Thank you. And let me do a nice little turnaround for all of you. So cute. This swivel chair is really coming in handy. Ah, oh, this is so cute. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and these cute hairstyles. I hope you guys try them out and let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much. I will see you in the next one. Bye.